In this video, we're going to use the Moivre's theorem to simplify these. Okay? So without having to expand brackets or use my own expansion, we can use the Moivre's theorem instead. So number one, one plus i to the four. The first thing you're going to want to do is write the one plus i in modulus argument form. So quick little sketch. Plus i looks like that. Okay, so it'll have a length of root two and an angle there of pi over four. So we can write one plus i as root two times cosine of pi over four plus i sine of pi over four. And so if I've got that to the power four, then that is the power four. So we've got root 2 to the power of 4, which is just 4. And then you've got cosine of pi over 4 times 4. So now using the theorem, i sine of pi. Cosine of pi is minus 1. Sine of pi is 0. And so you just get minus 4. So without having to expand brackets or anything, I can say that that's minus 4. Right, let's have a look at number two. One take with two i to the power of six. So we can use a similar method. So one long, two down. So something like that. Okay. So that is a triangle. That's one, that's a length two. Okay. So I can work out that angle using inverse tan of 2 over 1. So I'll just write that as inverse tan of 2. And this length is the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, so root 5. Okay. So we can say 1 take away 2i to the 6 is going to be equal to root 5 times cosine of the angle. Now, uh, the argument here is minus inverse tan of root 2, right? Oh, sorry, minus inverse tan 2. So minus inverse tan 2 plus i sine minus inverse tan of 2. Close that bracket, close that bracket, and that's the power of 6. Okay? Right, so you've got the root 5. Uh, root 5 to the power of 6, which is 125. Then you've got cosine of minus 6 inverse tan 2 plus i sine of minus 6 inverse tan of 2. So, cosine of minus 6 inverse tan of 2 is 117 over 125. And sine of minus 6 inverse tan 2 is minus 44 over 125. That's i. And so multiply through by 125, get 117, take 44i. Okay? So that's how you can show that using the Moivre's theorem. Right, let's have a look at this next one. So we've got 1 over 2 take away 2i to the 7. Okay, so first thing we want to do then is work out 2 take away 2i in modulus argument form. <clears throat> okay, real measure. 2 take away 2i is that Okay, so that's going to be an argument of uh, minus pi over 4. And 2 squared plus 2 squared um, gets us 8, so we root 8. So we want this to the power of minus 7. We're going to have the root 8 
times cosine of minus pi over 4 plus i sine of minus pi over 4 plus 7. So we need the root, sorry, to the minus 7. So we've got the root 8 to the power of minus 7. That's a good Okay, so 2 root 2 uh, to the power of 7 still doesn't match. Okay, so we're going to have to find another way around that. So root 8 is 2 root 2, and what is to the power of 7? Okay, so we've got 2 to the power of 7 is 128, and we've got the root 2 to the power of 7. Now, root 2 squared is obviously 2, so you have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Uh, root 2. You can have that one root 2 left over. So 8 lots of 128 is 1024, so 1024 root 2. Let's just make sure that they're doing the same thing. So 1024 times root 2 and Power of seven is zero. Cool. Okay, so that's right. So we've got the one thousand. So we've got one over that. So one over one thousand and twenty-four root two times. Uh, now cosine of minus seven or seven. It's just going to be seven now. Seven pi over four plus i sine of seven pi over four. So cosine of 7 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And then we've got sine of 7 pi over 4, which is minus root 2 over 2. Okay. So root 2 over 2 uh, divided by 1024 times root 2, 1 over 2048. And so that is our answer for number 3. Okay. So with a little bit of indices knowledge, a little bit of uh, the Moivre's theorem here, uh, and applying it, we can get these answers in a simplified form.